Moving on to the third question, that is to solve equations involving more than one operation. That's fine. You know, you have to just do many steps in the domain of real numbers. But the most important thing is there's one, two variables over here. Let's look into the problems. Here you can see there is A, which is unknown, then X, which is also unknown, plus 3 equals 23. Solve each equation for X. We need to solve for X. And A cannot be equal to 0. If it's equal to 0, this is nullified. It doesn't make sense. Okay. So A is not equal to 0. It can be any real number other than 0. And we need to solve for X. Consider A to be just a random number. Okay. Let it be like any number. But just don't solve it. Let's see how to do it. Leave A and X as it is for now. Just take this 3 to the other side. It becomes 23 minus 3. Now we have AX equals 20, right? Now take this A to the other side. X equals 20 divided by A. This is the final answer. Same thing over here. Leave AX over here itself. Take this minus 14 to the other side. It will be 4 plus 14. Negative becomes positive. You will get 18 equals AX. You need only X. So take A to the other side. 18 by a equals x. So you can see this is the pattern 20 by a, 18 by a. You can see a pattern here. All the problems have ax together. In the sense, ax is always grouped up. Okay. You just can consider that to be just a single variable x and solve the other things. Now minus 5 goes to the other side. It will become 19 plus 5, that is 24. And over here, this is positive, so leave it. Take the 6 to the other side. It becomes minus 29, minus 6. That is negative 35. And ultimately, just divide it by A and by A. Why did I tell you this method? The answers are negative 24 by A, negative 35 by A. Now, if you understand, this entire AX acts like a single variable. You can see any of the problems, okay? Even the next problems. It's AX. I will quickly do this one and then I will tell you the shortcut method. Here you can take minus 5 to the other side. It becomes A by 8 by AX. Minus 5 to the other side is minus 3 plus 5, which gives you 2, 8 by AX. AX goes to the other side. 2 comes over here. Swap this. Okay. 8 by 2 equals AX. New denominator when it moves to the other side of equal to becomes numerator and this numerator goes and becomes denominator. Now 8 by 2 is a 4 ax a to the other side 4 by a equals x. Now this again you can see the x ax value acted like a variable like a single term right till the end everywhere. 4 is the answer. Lastly you just divide by a. So you can try this in calculator now. We can take our calculators. You can just say, put this as it is. 8. Now, wherever this AX is there, put alpha X as a variable. Minus 5 equals minus 3. Shift and solve. What's the answer you're going to get? You're going to get 4. The answer is 4 divided by A. This X means it's AX. It solves for AX, right? AX is 4. Then ultimately you're right. Divide by A. Now let's look at this one. Here it is 18 minus alpha X equals 42. It does all the rearrangement, all the steps directly in this method. Shift and solve and press equal to. The answer is negative 24. But you must write divided by A to this. So you can see minus 24 by A. That's it. So based on this method, you can solve literally anything. Same over here. It's phi equals this by alpha and calc divided by phi divided by alpha x plus 1. Shift and solve. This x, whatever answer we get is for. Now this is 1 by 1.25 or if you know the fractions it's 5 by 4 okay when you look at 1.25 uh, I know that's 5.4 because it's solving it just comes to my mind now it'll be 1.25 divided by a because this x whatever is there it's ax value now it is you can write it like this 
1.25 by a or we know 1.25 is 5 by 4 divided by a. a must be in the denominator whatsoever so here you can see 5 by 4 a because 1.25 is 5 by 4 now if you get such problem what you can do is just check what is 5 by 4 it's 1.25 that's it so this is the correct answer it should match same thing over here you will get x and just whatever the answer divide by a that would be the shortcut method or oh, manually we have already solved i'll do this last one as well uh, it is take this minus ax to the other side because our intention is to make this positive so ax negative 7 to the other side becomes positive 7 minus 16 the answer is negative 9 ax but x will be equal to negative 9 by a so that would be our final answer and uh, same thing over here you can try now here there is single variable single variable we have done already in the last section so the same thing can be continued even over here it's just a single variable they are very simple and straightforward how do you solve this just take 8 to the other side that will be 29 minus 8 3x equals solve this will be 21 we know 3 is a uh, 21 3 is a multiple of 21 in the sense 21 take this to the other side will be divided by x is equal to 7 3 times 7 is 21 same thing here minus to the other side will be a by 6 equals 9 plus 5 this is a okay a solve this a divided by 6 equals 14 that is 9 plus 5 is 14 a equals 14 times 6 or a equals 14 times 6 14 times 5 is 70 70 plus 14 is 84 so this is how we get it now another thing is directly you can check the answer even if you do it correctly you can check your answer it's x divided by 6 minus 5 equals 9 shift and solve the answer is 84 even over you can check you'll get the correct answers all the detailed steps and methods are mentioned in this presentation if you still don't have the presentation just click on the link below and you can get the presentation in the description it's there so same thing please do try them by yourselves and then check for the answers over here the detailed solutions are available you can see this each method so please try to do it by yourself you do not need to follow each and every step you can change the steps there are easy steps as well whichever is easy just follow that here it's the same thing now you can see it's only one variable so it's easier now how would you solve this the 32 problem i'll just solve it quickly here this term minus h by 3 goes to the other side and 13 comes to the other side so it'll be minus 13 minus 4 equals positive h by 3 solve this it'll be negative 17 equals h by 3 17 times 3 it'll be 30 plus 21 it's 51 negative equals h so this is the answer you can try checking in the calculator as well you will get the same answer or you can directly solve it and check it so these are the steps for the left one it's again easy you can just do it and same concept over here we have brackets so what do we do here recall distributive property here it's important to know that phi is multiplied inside whenever your brackets imagine 2 and i have a plus b what do you do this 2 is multiplied evenly inside these brackets to both the terms brackets means this entire quantity right you have to evenly distribute it so it will be 2a plus 2b don't do the mistake sometimes some students write just 2a plus b which is entirely wrong now if you just multiply phi plus n equals minus phi this is wrong i'll recall i'll, re uh, I'll tell it again multiply this phi to both the terms inside the bracket it'll be phi times 1 multiplied by 1 plus phi times n equals negative phi phi times 1 is phi plus phi n equals negative phi so this phi goes to the other side will be phi n equals negative phi minus phi because plus becomes minus now you have phi n equals negative 10 
n equals negative 10 by 5, which is equal to negative 2. This is how we solve it. Or you can put this in the calculator. If you're doing in calculator, please be careful with the brackets. 5 multiplied, type it as it is, multiplied by 1 plus n is alpha x, basically. Any variable is alpha x. That is equal to negative 5, shift and solve, and the answer is negative 2. That's how we get it. That is n value. You can see these are the steps. Uh, okay, over here they have done one easy method, okay? But I told you a method which is important. I just realized how easy over there it could do. This is very important, okay? This method, the multiplication. I just realized you can do this operation of dividing phi on both the sides. Divide phi because that's, that's there in the solution. That's very easy. Divide phi. Oh my God, the lines are going very odd. Okay, now divide phi on both the sides and you will cancel this phi. This over here, it will be minus one. You will have one plus n equals minus one. Minus, uh, plus one goes to the other side, becomes minus one, minus one, n equals minus two. This is very easy. Uh, but the method which I told you about the distributive property, it's very important in the future as well. That's important to know. Same thing over here, you can see the steps. All the steps are in detail. And last one, we have done similar problems. You can see the steps. So that's about the question number three. I hope it is clear. Please do practice more problems and be thorough with this topic. I'll see you in the next video.